Lucy de Couture was the only woman to publicly put her name and face behind criminal allegations against Gian Gomeshi. And tonight, the actress and Air Force captain is standing by her statement that she was choked and slapped without consent. Evidence presented in court today by Gomeshi's lawyer is trying to raise doubts that acts were unwanted or non-consensual. Marie Hennon showed numerous emails sent by Ducouter, including one just hours after she was allegedly attacked. Ioana Romeliotis was in court as those emails were read out, some of them graphic in nature. Ioana? Wendy, today's evidence was dramatic and unexpected. Gian Gomeshi's lawyer had hinted there would be damaging revelations. And soon after Gomeshi arrived, Marie Hennin showed her hand. With deliberate flourish, Hennin submitted one email after another, about a dozen in all. All from Lucy Decoter to Gomeshi, after he allegedly choked and slapped her in July 2003. The email span from shortly after the alleged assault to more than two years later. The tone in all of them is friendly, sometimes flirtatious. In one, Decouter asks Gomeshi, if you want to hang out, give me a shout. In another, suggests they hook up. And in another, asks, how busy are you going to be in Banff? I want to play with you, referring to the upcoming TV festival they had met at a year earlier. The two did connect and even performed a karaoke song together there. Is there anything else that you haven't told us that we should know? No. In her statement to police, Decouter told detectives she only had passing contact with Gomeshi after he choked and slapped her. Hennen declared Decouter lied to the court, that the emails, like the photos released yesterday of the two of them the days after the alleged assault, show Decouter did not avoid but actually pursued contact with Gomeshi. Decouter says she had forgotten about the photos and the emails and testified her feelings for Gomeshi were complicated, that she was trying to make him less of an assaulter and more of a friend in her mind, and that she had no romantic interest in Gomeshi after the alleged assault. But in a shocking turn that drew gasps in the courtroom, Hennin pulled out more correspondence. One, an email Decouter sent Gomeshi the day after the alleged assault. In it, she writes, You kicked my ass last night, and that makes me want to your brain's out. Tonight. In another, a few days later, she writes, I think you are magic and would love to see you. Hennin also submitted a six-page handwritten letter Decouter sent Gomeshi shortly after she had visited him. You're great and I want to have more fun, easy times with you, she writes. Hennin asked Decouter to read the last line to the court. I love your hands. With that final salvo, Hennin turned to her and said, it never happened, referring to the alleged assault. Decouter insisted it did. Her lawyer later repeated that in a statement. Lucy wants survivors of violence to know that what they do in the aftermath when they are harmed in no way changes the truth. There is no right or wrong way to cope or react or to move forward with your life. But this is a case where credibility is critical and the defense strategy so far is to show the women are not believable. Court resumes on Monday and we expect to hear from the third and final complainant in this trial.